Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the What's Cooking Wednesday here, Big John TV. Got an awesome recipe video for you today. I'm in charge. So that either means it's meat related or it's fire related. Got an awesome barbecue recipe for you today. An awesome dip. This is going to be great for any sort of parties, family gatherings, Friday night, Saturday night. You just want to get down with some, with some good cheese. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's going to be fantastic. Super easy, super simple. So the official title of this is a smoked queso dip. Queso clearly meaning cheese. I already said cheese. Uh, it's going to be cooked in the barbecue pit. And so we're going to add that smoke flavor to it. Several different ingredients, but they're super simple. All right, here we go. Get yourself a foil tray. I have two different cheeses today. The, the main cheese we're using is a Velveeta style. Now, Velveeta is one of those that you either love it or you hate it. It has a role, it has a purpose, and this for this, I think it's gonna work out great. It's not required, but that's what we're doing. So this is a two pound block of Velveeta cheese cut into little manageable chunks. Going in. Then we have one pound of pepper jack cheese. Again, regular jack, you could go cheddar, anything you want at this point, but we figured a little bit more flavor, a little bit of spice is a good thing. One pound of pepper jack cheese, again, cubes. And this is about one pound of ground country style sausage. Also, completely interchangeable. Whatever you want as far as a meat product goes. You also see there's some bacon crumbles. I don't know if you can see that. We had bacon for breakfast, and I said, you know what? I think that's gonna work in this recipe. So, you want something spicy, you want something not spicy, you, any kind of sausage you want, it doesn't matter. Ground beef, if you want no spice at all, you just put ground beef. So that's one pound ground pork sausage and about five or six slices of bacon cut up into little, little tiny chunks going in. Now, this is Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. This is fire roasted. So you got that tomato, you got the little bit of chili in there. Not gonna be screaming hot, but got a good flavor going in. And I'll dump down nicely. 10 ounce can. Now this is just a small little can. This is straight green chilies, diced green chilies. Fire roasted and peeled, going in. Now again, it, it's uh, interchangeable with jalapenos, habaneros. Um, you don't want spice, you don't want chilies, leave it out. Just stick with the tomatoes, you'll be fine. A jar of salsa would be fine, doesn't matter. Green chilies are good, safe level of heat, going in. Those weren't drained either, they were just dumped in. And last but not least this is a can of cream of mushroom you can do cream of mushroom cream of chicken doesn't matter but what this is going to do is add a nice thickness a nice liquid to keep it nice and smooth and keep that cheese from getting glumpy and thick it should give it a nice texture when it's said and done so I'm going in and that all came out pretty darn clean All right, meet me out back for the next step. Yes. All right, so you see where the charcoal is? Take a tray of cheese and goodies, and it's gonna go away from the fire. Shouldn't close it yet. That's a chunk of cherry wood into the fire. Then you're gonna close the lid. Just like that. All right, so this is literally only 20 minutes later. And you can see that it's already good and melty and taking on some of that smoke. So you just want to make sure everything's mixed together at some point during this process. And I'm going to burn my arm off. Thanks, Jess. Give it all a stir, mix it all in. Because you're not cooking directly over the fire, you don't have to worry too much about the bottom burning. But you don't want it to get over overheated as it is anyway. And you want all these flavors to melt together. Yes, you want it all to become one. So now this is indirect grilling, indirect barbecue. If you don't have a barbecue available, you can use the same process just in your oven. 
probably looking at an hour at 250 to 275 total cooking time. Don't put charcoal in your oven. Don't put charcoal in your oven. That wouldn't be good. But doing it this way, you're going to get that charcoal and that smoke flavor, and that's going to be good. All right. Uh, probably at least 30 more minutes. Right? Everything is incorporated. You can see a little bit of the getting that good crusty edge. You can see the color from the smoke that I put in there. This is going to be fantastic. We're going to go ahead and call it. This was just about an hour at between 250 and 300 degrees, kind of just fluctuating through there. Um, you're not cooking anything, you're just heating it up and melting it all together, so. We did gonna... open it up and stir it a couple yeah. times in between. Yep. But now it's done. Yep, looks fantastic. Let's pull it. You can't do that. All right. I've let it cool down just a little bit because it was screaming hot coming off. This is one of those kinds of things. I, I've said it a dozen times already. I could have left it on the pit longer. I could have pulled it quicker. As soon as it gets melted, it's ready to go, right? That's all you're waiting for. So if you want it to be thicker, you want to add more smoke, leave it longer. If you don't have smoke, put it in the oven. It's all the same thing. I'm going to eat some. Jimmy, would you like to try some cheese dip? Yeah. Okay. Forget you, I do. <laughs> um, vegetables, carrots, broccoli, celery sticks, tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Well, you know it'd be good in like sourdough bread. Yeah. That picked up a lot of the smoke flavor. Mm-hmm. I was worried about it being salty. But it's not salty at all. Things balance out really well. You were worried about it being too spicy, and I could have it be a lot spicy. It could have been. One jalapeno diced up in here, seeded and stuff. I a think bunch that, of pickled jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. You can put some on top and then broil it that way and mm. bring it back up. This is fantastic. Super easy. You could take this a million different directions, but I think this as a base, I wouldn't change a thing. The bacon in there. Mm -hmm. Really? An extra layer of smoke. Yeah, smokies. that is fantastic. This will be a new party food staple in this house. Yep. This is delicious. Good job, Johnny. It's pretty tasty. Mmm. The charcoal, the smoke, the cheese, a little bit of pepper in there. That's delicious. Maddie eat it. Jamie, not so much. Too many red and green things in it, but that's a good one. All right, guys. Um, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you have not done so. If you're just coming through and you're watching, might as well subscribe. And then hit that notification bell so you know we post all of our videos. As the weather gets better and as we get some more time outside, I'm going to do more and more recipe videos involved, involving the grill. So I hope you dig that. Let me know. I know you guys like them. Just... You know, the thumbs up helps. And that's it. Smoked queso dip on the grill. It's fantastic. Definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.